Hello mga mathusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ito na yung part 2 ng ating learning task number 3 about loss of rational exponents. Okay, mga anak ha, medyo nahihirapan mag-record si Teacher Maria kasi masakit yung lalamunan. Kaya medyo mahinhin ha sa mga hindi umabot etong part na to doon sa ipapasa nila pasensya na kasi hindi ko talaga kaya kahapon. Kaya ngayon na lang, pinagpahinga ko muna para makapag-record ako today. Ngayon, bago ko simulan ang video na ito, siguraduhin nyo na muna ang i-like no? ito. Ngayon na ha, para naman sa hagod ng boses ko yung mga like ninyo. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na ang subscribe button at ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Let's start! Ayan, alam naman natin na kapag dito sa number 1, ganito ang form, itong exponent natin ay i-distribute natin sa lahat ha. Ibibigay bawat isa kahit dun sa constant lang. Okay, and then dito. So, ito magiging 81 raised to 1 over 3. And then you have m and then 9 over 3 kasi 9 times 1 is 9 and then you have a denominator of 1 times 3, 3 and then ganun din kay n 3 times 1 you have 3 over 3 over we have here 3 and then yung 6 diba times 1 you have 6 over 3 and then i-simplify natin itong mga to pwede kasi so you will have here 81 Raised to 1 over 3. 9 divided by 3, you have 3, correct. And then for n, 3 divided by 3 is 1. You don't need the right na, ha? 1 lang naman kasi. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. So you have here 3 raised to 2. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang 81 lang yung may fractional exponent. Kaya siya lang yung nasa loob ng ating radical. So, you will have here 81. Okay. Ang exponent niya ang ay 1. Ang index niya ay 3. And then, you have m raised to 3. And then, n over 3 squared is 9. Pero, pwede pa natin tong i-simplify, ha? Kasi, di ba, cube root of 81, pwede tayong makakuha ng cube root dito. Ano kaya ang pwede nating maging factors ng 81? Kung saan, uh, pwede natin makuha or makapaglabas tayo ng cube root. Kung iisipin, pwede 9 times 9, di ba? Pero, dalawa lang yun. So, babaan pa natin. Uh, so, pwede 3, di ba? So, magiging, o, oh, lagay ko dito ha. Kung 9 times 9, gawin na lang kaya nating 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 times 3, 81. And then, m raised to 3, n over 9. And then, cube root. Ibig sabihin nito, pwede kang maglabas ng 3, basta tatlo sila. Kasi cube nga eh. So, eto, saka eto, saka eto, wala na, makoconsider na lang silang isa para mailabas mo siya. So, magiging 3 na to. And then, ang 3 na lang na may iwan sa loob ay eto. So, 3, M, ay, sorry. Sorry, wait lang. Aha, kasi, aha, o oh, yan. Ulitin ko ha, ang maiiwan na lang sa loob ay isang 3, tapos eto, katumbas niya yung isang 3 sa labas. So, you have 3. And then, malit lang yung radical natin kasi siya lang naman yung nasa loob. So, you have 3, cube root of this one. And then, you have m raised to 3, n. Hindi siya kasama dun sa loob ha. And then, you will have here 9. Ngayon, itong 3 sa ka 9, pwede natin i-lowest term, di ba? Divisible sila by 3. Ito, pwede kong i-divide by 3, kaya 1 na lang siya. Ito naman, by 3 din, pareho dapat, kaya ito, 3 na lang siya. Ano ngayon ang final answer natin? Unahin natin itong isulat ha. So, we have here m raised to 3n. 
and then cube root of 3 over 3. O, dahan-dahanin itong part na ito ha, baka hindi nyo naiintindihan. Uh, class, kapag kayo ay nagsusulat ng gantong expressions, yung mga variables, unahin mo siyang isulat bago itong may radical, ha? Kasi para hindi ka malito, pag nandito, baka mamaya may extend mo siya, akalain kasama siya nung nandito sa radical sign. So, isulat mo siya ng nasa unahan para alam mo na ang nasa Radical sign lang ay etong number na to. So, eto na yung final answer. Okay, for number 2, we have this one. Enter lang to. Okay, o madali lang ito ha. Distribute lang ulit. Distribute. So, you will have your x. Okay, 18. Oh no, 18 times 3. What's 18 times 3? 24 carry 2. So, you have 54. 54 over 9, and then y, 9 times 3 is 27 over 9 also. Oh, what is 54 over 9? We have 6, diba? So, x raised to 6, and then y raised to 27 over 9. 27 divided by 9 is 3, so y raised to 3. O, oh, dahil walang fractional exponent, eto na siya. Wow, parang bonus ha. Ang bilis lang gawin na. Okay, next we have this one. O, kung mapapansin ninyo, dito sa given natin, pareho ang base natin, ba 3x squared, 3x squared. Pero magkaiba tayo ng exponent at minumultiply natin sila. Tandaan natin, pag nagmumultiply tayo, anong ginagawa natin sa exponents? Ina-add natin, ha? Parang, uh, eto, treat mo siya as x raised to 1 half, eto din, x raised to 1 third. So, you have to add. Hmm? Okay, so, let's have this one. Kaya ito magiging, wait, 3x squared raised to 1 half plus 1 third. Okay, so mag-focus tayo muna sa exponent. Ano ang LCD ng 2 and 3? You have 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 1. You have 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 1 is 2. So, yan. So, you will have here 3x squared. And then, add. Magiging 3x squared. 3 plus 2 is 5 over 6. Okay, next natin. Siyempre, i-distribute natin sila. Kaya, magkakaroon ka ngayon ng 3 raised to 5 over 6. And then, 3, 2 times 5. 10 over, ay, bakit 3 to? X pala to. Sorry. Oh. So, again, you have 3 raised to 5 over 6. Kasi, di ba, may 1 to times this one. And then, X, 2 times 5 is 10 over 6. Dahil fractional yan. Oh, let's see. You will have here now. So, 3. Ang exponent ng 3 ay 5. Di ba? And then, you have... Uh, sorry, ito muna. Pareho naman sila ng index, eh. Diba? Kaya mabilis natin mailalagay. X raised to 10. And then, ang index nila ay 6. Pero, pwede pa natin masimplify, ba? What is 3 raised to the 5th power? So, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay? So, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3, 27 times 3, 81. 81 times 3 is 243. Ang galing niya, mama. <laughs> Sorry. Hindi, na-solve ko na yung una pa lang, ha, para mukhang magaling. Hindi <laughs> naman magaling talaga si ma'am. Oh, we have here now 243. And then, x raised to 10 with our index na 6. Pero, hindi pa rin ito ang final answer natin. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo, kagaya kanina, ba may pwede tayong ilabas. Kasi, diba, kung titingnan nyo ito, you have here index na 6. So, eto, may anim siya dito na pwede mong ilabas. Dito wala eh. Kasi 5 lang ang exponent na kulang siya. Kaya dyan lang siya. Dito pwede. O, sige nga. Chap-chapin natin ito para yung isa malabas natin. So, 243. 
and then index ng 6. Ang kailangan nito, exponent na 6. So, meron kang x raised to 6. Ilan yung ka-chop-chop niya? O, ilan, ilan pa ako lang? 4. Kasi pag in ko si 6 plus 4, 10 na siya. Pero, magbabaybay ka kay 6 kasi sabi niya, o, ilabas mo ko yung kapareho kong exponent o yung kapareho kong bilang. O, see? So, dahil ito ay katumbas niya ito, may isa kang x na ilalabas. So, labas ka, may iiwan sila. Ang may iiwan lang sa loob ay 243 and then x raised to 4. Wala na to ha, kasi nandito na siya. Ito na yung katumbas niya. To the 6th. Ha? To the 6th. Or with the index of 6. Hindi to exponent ha, yung 3. 243 yan. Teka, ayusin ko nga. O, yan na ang ating answer. Okay. Okay, for number 4, ganun ulit sa exponent. Imumultiply natin ha. So, meron ka ditong x. And then, 10 times 1 is 10 over 5. Plus x. 8 times 1 is 8 over 4. And then, simplify ninyo. 10 over 5 is 2. So, you have your x raised to 2 plus 8 over 4 is also 2. Kaya, magkakaroon ka rin dito ng x raised to 2. Now, pwede natin sila i-add ha. Isang x raised to 2 added to isang x raised to 2 pa. You will have 2 x raised to 2. Tandaan ha, ang ina-add lang natin yung numerical coefficient at yung ating literal coefficient kinokopya lang ha. Hindi yan magiging 4 ha. Hindi magiging 4. Copy lang ito ulit at ina-add lang yung number. Eh, mamula namang number ah. Diba, invisible 1 yan. Huwag na kayong makipagtalo pa ha. So, you have there. Okay, for number 5, uh, let's see ha, ito distribute, kaya ito ay magiging 3 raised to 3, and then this one, 5 times 3 is 15 over 3, so Q, 15 over 3, and then we have 1 times 3, so you have R, so the, ito ay 3 over 6, diba, 1 times 3 over 6, over 6, and then, 3 times 1 din dito. So, you will have your 3 over 3. Uulitin ko ha, dinidistribute ito sa lahat. Okay? So, you will have here now this one. What is 3 times 3 times 3? 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. So, 27. And then, 15 divided by 3, you have 5. So, you have Q raised to 5. And then, R raised to 3 over 6. Yung 3 over 6, kayang a lowest term by dividing by 3. So, kaya itong 3 over 6, magiging 1 half siya. So, you have R over 2. And then, you have here, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, 6 na lang siya. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong fractional exponent dito. Kaya itong si R, magiging radicand natin. Ha? Kaya, you will have here 27 Q raised to 5, and then radical sign, you have R, exponent niya 1, ang, ang to, index niya ay 2, so no need to write, and then over 6. Pero, ito ay pwede pang ma lowest term, yung 27 and 6, ba? It is divisible by 3, kaya ito magiging 9 na lang, ito magiging 2. Tama? 27 divided by 3 is 9. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Kaya ang final answer mo ay 9 Q raised to 5 R over 2. Ayan! So, nakatulong ba ang video na ito? Kung nakatulong ang video, ha, palitan nyo naman ito ng magandang comment dyan sa baba. At kung hindi kayo mga busy, baka naman mga anak, i-follow nyo na rin ang ating Facebook page, Marie Maria Matics, ha? Okay, let's spread the love of math. Happy studying! Bye!